Welcome to Tech Roman. Welcome. This is Ilesh Brajan and I am going to review the HP Woman 15 2020 gaming laptop here. HP Woman 15 2020 has a wider choice of configuration to choose from. So the model which I got here is the 15EK0019TX which is powered by Intel Core i7 10 Gen combined with the modest GeForce GTX 1650 Ti. If you want a higher variant you can go all the way up to GeForce RTX 2070 with the Max Q configuration if you are into the higher spectrum of gaming. If you wonder what is the specification of the machine which I am reviewing here here you can see it on the screen feel free to take the screenshot and go through it. With the 2020 models HP has toned down the aggressive dash of curves and lines in the gaming machines. When you call out a gaming laptops these days there are flurry of offerings with strong accentuated cards and psychedelic LED colors popping out. HP Woman 2020 lineup is muted in comparison and follows the traditional laptop looks with a robust build. It can sneakily blend in an office environment. It is made of combination of aluminum and plastic with the underlying chassis in a metal and gives a sturdy and robust feel to it and probably can handle few knocks too. The matte finish on the lid tends to catch grease easily and is a fingerprint magnet. Uh, the lid has a diamond shaped mirror like logo which glistens in green and blue depending on the angle viewed. Personally I find the logo too bland but on a hint side this subtle logo would appeal even the non gamers weighing 2.36 kg the Woman 15 2020 definitely has a fair bit of heft to it and measures 22.6 mm in thickness if you are planning a machine to carry often for your day to day uh, tasks going around here and there you should take a note of this weight a wide vision 720p hd web camera is housed on the top bezels there is no privacy shutter A white light indicator glows when the camera is active. Like most webcams in laptop, this is also passable for video calls. The power button finds an odd place between the F12 and delete button. The bottom has a large ventilation grills which could inhale a lot of air towards the heat sinks. Coming to the ports, uh, there's a lot in terms of port selection. On the left, you get a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A port, HDMI port, full-sized SD card reader, gigabit Ethernet port. headphone microphone jack and a power input jack on the right side you get a pair of usb 3.2 gen 2 type a ports and a mini display port and a thunderbolt type c port the oman 15 2020 laptop can be flat laid to 180 degrees and the hinge mechanism is confident the oman 15's 15.6 inch display is lowered for size i like the popping colors deep blacks and the colors are vibrant Details are crisp and you will not miss anything in the good game scenarios. It clocks 330 nits brightness which I find to be adequate and 71.8% of the DCI-P3 color gamut. It has a 144Hz refresh rate. In short the display is extremely likable. There is also Nvidia G-Sync support. The chiclet keyboard is almost silent. HP might also have gone with the silent treatment in line with the design choice of blending it in the office ecosystem. Uh, the keyboard is full fledged with separate numeric keys calculator and arrow keys i don't have any issues while typing the travel distance is comfortable to use uh, then there is the rgb lighting which most gamers would love to see the back lighting can be customized from the woman command center the keyboard is split into four zones for rgb lighting you can pick the colors for the four zones and the lighting is static there is no strobing breathing or any dynamic effects The trackpad is large and easy to use. There are no separate dedicated left and right buttons. Omen 15 supports gestures and responds very well to them. So coming to the performance, if you are looking at a top-notch gaming performance, you should go with the GeForce RTX 2070 uh, for the maximum performance. But that also comes with the cost. The RTX 50 is not the powerful GPU from Nvidia, but you can't disown it. It still has something in it. If you are aiming to mix gaming and work and a machine for multimedia editing, this variant proved to be fairly good in my use. This could be a good uh, entry level or mid entry level uh, gaming machine. I used it for some time for my video rendering and real life use cases and it proved to be a good reliable workhorse. In 3D mock benchmark test we got the uh, 3897 in time spy test and 1761 in time spy stream test. It has a Samsung NVMe 1TB SSD storage. On Kista mock test, we got the results that you see in the screen now, uh, both in real life performance and peak performance test. There is a 16 GB of dual channel DDR for memory, 8 GB and two sticks, which can be upgraded to 32 GB. The Oman command center is the go for destination to customize the keyboard lighting, adjust fan speed, monitor the system diagnostics, 
For gamers, it also has an AI-based software that maps your play and throw pointers on your weak points. The game stream functionality aids to stream your game to another device in the same local network. When it comes to the cooling technology, it does a pretty good job considering the gaming segment. HP call it as a Omen Tempest cooling technology implementation with three-sided bending and five-way airflow. In my playing time, I didn't notice any heating issue in the keyboard area. In certain areas, it went up by 10 degree, which is not a big deal. The Stream High went under the laptop near the ventilation area where it heat maximum around 50 degree. So obviously you cannot keep it on your lap while playing. The fan sound reading is around 50 decibel. Yes, the fan is audible but not very annoying. You can control the fan speed in the Omen command center. HP uses dual speakers by Bang & Olufsen. It supports DTS X Ultra. The audio quality is good. The machine packs a 3-cell 52.5 watts hour lithium-ion battery. On a conclusion, the HP Omen 15EK0019TX is a good entry-level uh, mid-segment gaming laptop. If you don't fancy the over-the-top design cues of gaming laptops and want something that would blend with your office environment, this is a good buy. Plus, the display is stellar and you get a decent battery life. But yeah, this is also a pricier a laptop compared to the competitions out there. But then the woman branding also commands a bit of premium, I suppose. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This is Lashmarjan signing off from Technoman. See you in the next video. Have a great day. Cheers.